Hello guys, welcome back in Cool IT Help and in this video tutorial we will learn how to install JBoss server on Mac OS X. Yes, uh, as we know JBoss is known as a Wildfly uh, server. So here we will see the installation on Mac OS X. Also we will see how to stop this server or how we can access the admin console. So all this is stuff I will cover here in this video tutorial. So here are the installation steps. And the other useful things that you must know uh, while installation so we will start with the step one so in the step one we have to simply copy this web URL and uh, open your favorite browser then paste in the address bar so we will download the server package from that location so here is my uh, Chrome browser and I pasted this uh, URL you guys can get this link in the description and uh, this is uh, the official uh, download location for the Wildfly or the JBoss uh, server. Okay, so here uh, we are landed on this page. So this is uh, where we can uh, download the uh, different version. You can see that version 19.0 beta 1 is available. And here in this example, I will uh, download the version 18.0.1. And here is the name Java double E full and web distribution you can see here we have the options for the Windows and for the Mac so we will download this uh, tar GZ file and this is around 177 MB in size and there are lots of things available we have the source code as well and uh, lots of information if you want to explore more you can uh, download that as well so we will proceed with this uh, tgz file okay so we have to simply click on it and the downloading will start you can see that uh, still uh, downloading is running so we will wait for the uh, download completion after the completion of download just put this package and place somewhere in the separate folder on your mac machine so i'm minimizing this uh, chrome browser i have already downloaded this package so i will continue the installation process so here is the folder and uh, i placed that uh, downloaded file right here in this folder okay now we have to unzip this file so it's very simple just double click on this to unzip now we are on the step two okay so we will unzip this file and uh, we will see what uh, are the content inside this right now this uh, archive utility is uh, extracting this zip file okay here we are this is the folder wildfly 18.0.1 now we are inside the folder and we can see uh, some directories and uh, here one more file readme.txt you can go through it you will get uh, some more knowledge on uh, the server and here are some useful files inside the bin so mostly we will work on this bin folder and uh, you can see in the step 2 we have mentioned to run the server we have to go inside the bin folder okay so how we will start the server this is this is the package this is the feature of this package that you have nothing need to set up you can directly launch the server okay to do that just open the terminal and here we here we are in the terminal okay now we have to move inside the bin folder so we have we need the path of the bin folder so how we will go inside it's simple I will show you a trick so guys uh, just uh, go inside your uh, the parent directory of this wildfly then go inside the bin okay so here come here on this terminal guys type the cd command okay then uh, just drag and drop this bin folder at this place and you will get the path okay once you get the path simply you have to hit enter once and you are inside the bin folder that's it 
it's simple now we will launch the server by using this command so we will going we will start the server by typing dot slash standalone dot sh file so dot this sh file will start the wildfly server on your mac machine now you can see that make sure you have the java home properly set up on this otherwise you can get any error now you can see the message started 315 or 577 services okay so some of the services on demand and some basic services are started and your wildfly server is uh, running right now on your mac os x now we will verify by accessing the web console it's easy simply uh, we will copy this url http colon double slash localhost colon 8080 right now this server is running on 8080 because i have no other server running on my mac machine on 8080 that's why it has picked up 8080 port okay so i just hit the enter in the browser and you can see the home page of the wildfly this means your uh, web server instance is running properly okay now we have uh, lots of links here we have a documentation so you are the absolute beginner so go with the documentation you can read more and access more now in this uh, step 4 I will show you how you can stop it it's very simple uh, the server is running in this um, terminal window so guys you simply just type the uh, just press the key combination on your keyboard control plus C so you will exit from the uh, server and you can you will get this message server is stopped in 101 millisecond okay now you can just verify it again hit here and you will see site can't be reached that means the server is stopped that's why we are not getting the response now again i have restarted the server with the help of the same command okay now server is started Okay, there's another case in which uh, we can set this server as a service, the background service. Okay, so I have not covered that thing here in this tutorial. In a further upcoming tutorials, I will discuss that thing. Okay, now one more thing uh, in the step five, we will see how to access the administration console. Once you click here, you will get this message. The, your wildfly server is running but you are not able to access that because there is no user is assigned in the admin role so guys we will assign a one user as an admin role and we will access the admin console so how we will do it i will show you it's very easy okay right now the server is running in one terminal so definitely we need one another terminal window the separate window in which we will execute some uh, command so do the right click on this icon and open new terminal window so here uh, we have to simply move inside the bin folder the same way we have done previously and we will execute this add user dot sh okay so cd drag and drop you will get the path now you are inside the bin folder and uh, simply uh, we will type dot slash add user dot sh file okay so going to execute this one add user dot sh press enter and guys you will get this message uh, this is the console uh, program it is asking you to set what kind of user you want a management user or application user in my case i am setting it a management user so i selected a hit enter and then you will get this that you have to assign one user name so i am giving the name admin 101 okay once you hit enter it will show you to set a password and some guidelines will display here so you have to follow these guidelines and uh, you have to set the password for the admin okay so i have just entered the password and again it will ask you for the confirmation of the password once you hit enter and it will ask you to set a group 
you guys can leave it blank by typing the space hit enter okay now your admin 101 is going to add in the management role okay so type yes hit enter again type yes and you will be uh, on the terminal on this prompt okay that means it is done so what we have done we have added a uh, a user in the management realm that means it is authorized to perform some management operation by using the web based and admin console okay if you add a uh, application uh, realm so the functions or uh, accessing permission will be limited for that so we have done the adding of uh, the admin user now we will try to access or we will verify it is working or not so I'm minimizing all these stuff and opening the browser again and uh, go back here localhost colon 8080 now click here on the administration console okay it will ask you the credential and you have to enter the name of uh, the admin the user that we have set previously and type the password and hit enter and you will see the magic you are right now inside the management console to here there are lots of options to manage the server and your deployments configuration access controls patching lots of stuff available here and uh, you guys are now free to do more things with your wildfly server so guys this is the way you can set the admin here and i hope you guys uh, have clear understanding on the installation running and uh, stopping the server and how to add a user in the for the manage to access the management console so guys uh, if you found this video useful so please like this video and uh, you can subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon and you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help